Hello and welcome to another Click tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how you do batch job invoicing. So basically this is when you've got a number of jobs and you may want to collate them into one invoice. So what we do here is we go into modules, we go into invoicing and we go to batch job invoicing. From here you're going to see all the job sheets that you have and between these date ranges at the moment I've got show all of all the jobs that may be ready for invoicing so a couple of things you can do here that you might be interested in one you can use the pins to sort of filter out the ones that you want to invoice so for example I'm just going to try to invoice customer and click on this pin and click on click so I've got them selected because I only really want to invoice uh, click limited with all these job sheets that I've got um, between um, this date range which is show all in the system at the moment a couple of other things you can do as well as you can see you can decide that okay I only want to do the ones that are complete so I can click on the job status little pin here and go to complete and you can see it filters it down a little bit more so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tick invert selection so that ticks everyone in this view the next thing is I want to create that invoice now for click limited so I go to create invoices and you'll see you've got similar options of when you usually create normal invoices so you can either do a blank invoice and it will just link them and then you're just going to have to put in um, your materials and um, time items separately or you just bring in all items that have been included in there um, in all of those jobs and they'll be listed and they'll also tell you what job they come from as well you can also do a single item per job sheet, which may be the something you might do. So it'll just tell you the total cost of that job, basically, on every single line item. So um, I'm going to do a single item per job sheet just to show you what that looks like. So if I do this, you'll see that it's created invoice number 114 for all these jobs. So if we click on 114, so you can double click and it will show you. And you can see all those jobs and the totals have been put in here for that particular invoice. So that's one way of doing it. So another way of doing it, if I close that, you can also go create invoice in all items. And that'll create all items. So we go to 115 now. You'll see all the items that have been added between every single of those jobs. And what you'll see is in the description, it's put that job number in there. So you can clearly see what that work time or materials job is related to. Okay. So there's probably those two ways you're probably going to do it. Again, you may do it as a single item, so it'll be all the jobs. So if we do that, it'll just be one line item. And you'll see for jobs between a particular date and that date of every single job that you've done. And you'll just invoice them a total amount. Okay, um, and that's really it for uh, batch job invoicing. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.